You know, the first day I held this lady, this little young lady in my arms, uh, I was just gobsmacked and I was in love. And I held her real close and I thought, wow, we had a blue one, now we've got a little pink one. And I don't want to name her, but we waited a couple of days and we thought, you know what? The old uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, there was a little fella in there called Jem. And I always stuck with that name when I was a kid when I read that book. I said to my wife, you know, we love that book. Do you mind if we call her Jem? She said, oh, I'd love to. I'd like to bring my little Jem out now. She's all 13 years old to sing a little song for you uh, that she recorded for the uh, album as well as part of that pre-release thing. So please make welcome Miss Jem Cassidale. You go over there and make your own lunch. <laughs> on your own dress and stuff. And... No. Have you enjoyed the festival? It's been pretty good, yeah. Yeah? You got a nice little jumper from the second hand shop the other day? Four dollars. Four bucks? <laughs> yeah. There's already a little bargain hunter like a mother. Yeah. Okay. We, um, we had a chance, Warren Costello, a, a good friend of ours and a man from my record company, Liberation Music, said, can you do something different for this pre-release thing? can you do something like you do at the farm? And I said, look, I probably couldn't do anything like we do at the farm because we drink a little bit too much at the farm. <laughs> so why don't we record some things with the kids with some songs of their choice? And um, I said, they don't necessarily have to be just straight up country songs. Jem chose this beautiful Ray LaMontagne song called Rock and Roll and Radio, and um, she's here to sing it for you now. Thank you. 
like the way it used to be, or is it a dream?